I want to draw your attention to one more chapter. For me, it was the most upsetting of all the chapters I read. It was a chapter where you're, you are going on a tour with a group, a group of Italians who are being led by an Israeli tour guide by the name of Itamar, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. And Itamar is taking this group on a tour, and what you describe him as is a self hating Jew. Mm -hmm. And at one point, he describes how Israelis basically stole the land from the Palestinians, mm -hmm. and how they are, when he takes you to Yad Vashem, he makes a parallel with the, between the Nazis and what the Israeli army is doing today. And when he's asked by one of the Italians on the trip, are you Jewish? He says, I was a Jew. I consider myself now to be an ex-Jew, a former Jew. Mm -hmm. And you write that you are somewhat surprised and taken aback by the extent of the hatred that you experience among the self-hating Jewish Israelis. Mm -hmm. Speak to our audience a little bit about this entire experience you had and how it was also part of what surprised you and what makes up a good part of Catch the Jew. Yeah, it's, it's a shocking, it's a surprising thing. I mean, the examples that you gave, Itamar Shapira, the Europeans are identifying Israelis that are self-hating and give them money and have them do the dirty work for them. It happens across places in Israel. Itamar Shapira, his name is Shapira, this is one example. Here is a project paid by the EU. They know the guy, they know what he will deliver. He takes young people, teenagers basically from Italy, in this case, takes them on a tour of Yad Vashem, and he tells them that what they see is subjective from the perspective of the Jews. It's not an objective, but what is objective is that Israel, the Jews, are murdering Palestinians, that there is a Holocaust committed by Israel against Palestine. And he goes on and on and on, telling all kinds of horrible stories what the Jews are doing. By the time you leave Yad Vashem, you think you saw Jews being killed, but you think you, you saw Palestinians being killed by Jews.